Florida Highway Patrol from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Division of the Florida Highway Patrol, FHP, is a division of the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles of the state of Florida, a state law enforcement agency with a primary duty to ensure the safety of the highways and roads of the state. The Department of Public Safety, created in 1939, was reorganized in 1970 and renamed the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. Section 1. Organization The Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles is a cabinet agency which reports to the Governor and the Florida Cabinet. The DHSMV's headquarters is located in the Neil Kirkman Building, Tallahassee, Florida. Electra Theodorides Bussell is the Executive Director of DHSMV. Mr. David Westbury serves as Deputy Executive Director. FHP Troops The Director of the Florida Highway Patrol Christopher Allen Knight holds the rank of Colonel. It has five separate bureaus. The Bureau of Investigations is commanded by a Major, while the other four bureaus are each commanded by a Deputy Director, Lieutenant Colonel. The Bureau of Field Operations North and West, with Troops A, B, C, F, and H. The Bureau of Field Operations South and East, with Troops D, E, G, K, and L. The Bureau of Special Operations, Training, Leadership, Program Planning, Fleet and Property, Accreditation and Policy, Aviation, Employee Selection, Recruitment, Background Investigation, Polygraph, and Budget. In the Bureau of Law Enforcement Support Services, EOC, Domestic Security, Communications, Lieutenant Governor Odd de Camp, Inspections, Auxiliary and Reserve, Technology and Communications, Contraband Interdiction, and Traffic Homicide. Nine field troops are commanded by personnel with the rank of Major which are divided by regions geographically located across the state. A tenth troop handles the Florida Turnpike operations. Troops are subdivided into 30 district headquarters, each commanded by a captain. Florida Highway Patrol officers are called state troopers and are not called highway patrolmen, as in some U.S. states. The FHP and its troopers are state law enforcement officers and, as such, are police officers with powers to enforce the state law and make arrests. They are not the state police, as Florida Constitution states that the chief law enforcement officer of a Florida county is the sheriff of that county. The function of the highway patrol is to the safety of the state, U.S., and interstate highways of Florida. Florida has an investigative department similar to that of the FBI, called the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. In addition to the FHP, Florida's highways are patrolled by the Florida Department of Transportation's Office of Motor Carrier Compliance, MCCO a state law enforcement agency responsible for commercial vehicle laws in the state. The FHP was created in 1939 with 60 uniformed officers. There have been 41 state troopers killed since its founding, 19 shot, 17 auto crashes, 5 aircraft crashes, 1 explosion. The authorized strength of the FHP consists of 1,813 sworn, 547 non-sworn, total 2,360. FHP Reserve. 110 volunteer members have the authority to bear arms and make arrests but receive no compensation. FHP Auxiliary. 402 volunteer members, armed and in uniform, assist troopers throughout the state for no compensation. Section 2. Special Functions. Subsection 1. Traffic Homicide. The Traffic Homicide Investigations Unit was created in 1967 to meet the Florida Highway Patrol's desire to provide a comprehensive investigation into the circumstances resulting in all traffic-related deaths in the state of Florida. The Florida Highway Patrol's Traffic Homicide Investigations Unit is comprised of 168 full-time investigators, divided into 23 squads statewide. According to the FHP during the period of July 1, 2000 to June 30, 2001, the patrol investigated 1,728 fatal traffic crashes. Subsection 2. Drug Interdiction Program Advanced training of all sworn personnel in drug identification and use detection as well as search and seizure laws, use of FHP aircraft for observation of marijuana fields during routine flight duties, canines, drug interdiction teams, and utilization of fiber optic scopes to locate concealed compartments. Subsection 3. Drug Interdiction Teams There are 50 specially trained troopers designated as felony officers and canine handlers comprise 20 felony teams. Each felony team consists of two troopers and one canine, 
and is assigned to patrol the interstate system and other major highways throughout the state in order to interdict drug trafficking. Currently, the interdiction program has 31 dogs, 11 fiber optic scopes, and 22 buster drug detection devices. Subsection 4. Aircraft. The Florida Highway Patrol Flight Section pilots flew 3,481.8 total hours during FY00-001, July 2000 to June 2001. Of these total flight hours, 1,721.9 were flown over speed check zones, producing 30,967 arrests. This is an average of 18 arrests per hour. The total cost to operate these aircraft during FY00-01 was $212,472.14, with an average of $61.02 per hour. The total revenue generated by the aircraft was $3,870,875, an average of $125 per citation. Subsection 5. Armored Personnel Carriers. In November 1998, the Florida Highway Patrol acquired three armored personnel carriers from the Department of Management Services, Bureau of Federal Property Assistance. The fully functional units were acquired for a total of $1,500. These military surplus V-150 carriers have been repainted courtesy of the Appalachian Correctional Institution at an average cost of $260.34 per unit and now proudly display the Florida Highway Patrol colors and seal. These units will be strategically placed throughout the state of Florida as a means of providing law enforcement support and safety in the event of high-risk emergency situations. Currently, the carriers are assigned to Troop D, Orlando, Troop E, Miami, and Troop G, Jacksonville. Subsection 6. Mobile Command Units. The patrol has three mobile command units. They are stationed in Jacksonville, Troop G, Orlando, Troop D, in Miami, Troop E. On February 3, 1999, the Jacksonville Transportation Authority leased a 1986 surplus bus to the FHP for $1 a year. This vehicle was painted by the JTA in FHP's color scheme, complete with decals and lettering, and is used as a mobile command center for natural disasters and other emergencies in North Florida. The patrol was responsible for outfitting the bus interior with appropriate communications and other support systems. The Broward County Transit Authority entered into a similar partnership with Dade County FHP. Troop E's Mobile Command Center came into service in 1997. The bus was donated by the Broward County Transit Department. The equipment used in the conversion was mostly donated. Bell South donated the wiring and phone system, and South Florida Impact, I-M-P-A-C-T, donated the money to purchase the many other items, such as computers and printers, needed to equip this mobile command center. The total cost was approximately $60,000. In 2000, Troop D's command center was ready to help with special details and emergencies that arise in the central region of the state. The 1990 Van Hool bus was confiscated in the Panhandle after it was found to have been used to transport drugs. This command post is utilized in coordinating special details such as Black College Reunion, Bike Week, and Race Week. Subsection 7. Community Service Officers Civilian Community Service Officers are stationed in the Tampa Bay area and the Orlando area with 14 in Hillsborough County, 14 in Pinellas County, and 4 in Orange County. These non-sworn officer positions are responsible for responding to and investigating minor crashes where there are no criminal charges involved and providing assistance to stranded motorists. Community Service Officers are not armed, nor do they have any arrest authority. They wear a distinctive colored uniform which consists of a white shirt with FHP patches and black trousers. Subsection 8, Reaction Force Teams. To provide rapid assistance to areas of the state affected by hurricanes or other natural disasters, the patrol has reaction force teams. These teams are deployed to disaster areas. There are eight teams, each consisting of one lieutenant, three sergeants, and 21 troopers or corporals for a total of 25. Subsection 9, Motorcycle Squads. The Florida Highway Patrol currently uses 47 motorcycles for traffic enforcement and crash investigations. 10 motorcycles are assigned to Troop C, Tampa, and 11 each are assigned to Dade, Duval, Orange, and Palm Beach counties. Subsection 10, Tactical Response Teams. 
There are five tactical response teams, TRT, similar to SWAT, consisting of members specially trained in crowd control, weapons, tactical maneuvers, building searches, service of arrest warrants, and other special techniques. Section 3. Ranks. Colonel, Director of the Florida Highway Patrol, symbol of rank, Gold Eagle. Lieutenant Colonel, Deputy Directors of the Florida Highway Patrol. Major slash Chief, symbol of rank, Gold Oak Leaf. Captain, symbol of rank, Two Gold Bars. Lieutenant, symbol of rank, One Gold Bar. Sergeant, symbol of rank, Three Chevrons. Corporal slash Traffic Homicide Investigator, symbol of rank, Two Chevrons. Trooper, Auxiliary Trooper. Community Service Officer. Recruit. Subsection 1. Divisions. 1. Investigations. 1 Chief of Investigations. 4 Captains. 3 Captains are Regional Commanders over the Northern, Central, and Southern Regions. 27 Lieutenants. 10 Sergeants. 3 Corporals. 9 Troopers. Details. There are 54 sworn and 11 non sworn personnel assigned to the Bureau of Investigations. These officers conduct investigations on auto theft, driver license theft and fraud, title fraud, odometer fraud, and other criminal activities statewide. During fiscal year 2000-2001, 153 stolen vehicles, valued at $2,414,664, were recovered. 13 vehicles valued at $94,500 were seized. 289 warrants were issued and 174 arrests for criminal activity were made. The Bureau also conducted 63 professional compliance cases, 954 criminal investigations, 26 division cases, and 19 internal review cases for other divisions within the department. 2. Public information slash safety education. One major, 12 lieutenants. Three, recruitment. One captain, assigned as chief recruitment officer and responsible for coordinating the recruitment program. Six regional recruitment officers stationed throughout the state. Four, background slash selection. One lieutenant, chief background investigator. One Sergeant, Assistant Chief Background Investigator. Details. Thirteen full-time background investigators are assigned throughout the state, assisted by FHP personnel in their local troop as needed. This section is responsible for all pre-employment testing and screening of all applicants for the positions of State Trooper and Community Service Officer. This screening consists of pre-employment written testing, physical abilities testing, polygraph, eye examination, physical examination, psychological screening, background investigation, and drug screening. This section is also charged with the responsibility of handling requests for assistance from other law enforcement agencies throughout the country in conducting background investigations on applicants with their agency. 5. Inspections One chief, including a staff assistant, three inspectors with rank of captain, one captain and one lieutenant, responsible for the Grants, Accreditation, and Policy, GAP, section. Details. The Office of Inspections, established in 1995, is responsible to the Director and represents his office while conducting staff inspections throughout the patrol. GAP, G-A-P, is responsible for the Division's policy development and management, is the Accreditation Manager for the Florida, CFA, and National, C-A-L-E-A, accreditation programs and manages the division's financial grant acquisitions. Additionally, a total of 17 inspectors in place, IIP, representing all 10 troops and GHQ, formally trained, assist the permanent inspectors on a need basis during the staff inspection of field and GHQ units. Section 4. History. On November 23rd, 1931, at the request of the Chairman of the State Road Department, Attorney General Carrie D. Landis to Governor Doyle E. Carden, 
ruled it shall be the duty of the State Road Department to maintain the State Roads and enforce the laws enacted to preserve its physical structure. The Road Department hired 12 weight inspectors who were placed under the supervision of the division engineers because of the ruling. This was the beginning of state law enforcement in Florida. In January 1934, a division of traffic enforcement was created as a result of an attorney general's opinion indicating the division could enforce the motor vehicle's laws. As a result, E.A. Sherman was appointed traffic inspector. The division was given a distinctive military-style uniform, forest green in color. In July 1936, Chairman C.B. Treadway appointed Army Major H. Neil Kirkman, Chief of the State Road Department's Traffic Division due to his experience in the armed forces associated with traffic and his background in engineering. Army Major Kirkman was the engineer supervising the construction of the Palatka Memorial Bridge over the St. Johns River. When Fred P. Cohn was elected governor in 1937, as an economic move, he abolished the Traffic Enforcement Division of the State Road Department, even though it performed valuable service to the citizens of Florida during the years of service. The American Legion and the JCs strongly supported the idea of establishing a highway patrol to serve the needs of the motoring public. Richard Dick W. Irvin was the attorney for the State Road Department, and his supervisor was Arthur B. Hale, Governor Cohn's chairman of the State Road Department. In 1939, the Florida Legislature created the Department of Public Safety with two divisions, the Florida Highway Patrol and the Division of State Motor Vehicles Driver's Licenses, under the control of Governor Fred P. Cohn and Chairman of the State Road Department, Arthur B. Hale. The legislation authorized 60 officers to patrol the public highways and to enforce all state laws in effect, or here and after enacted, regulating and governing traffic, travel, and public safety upon the public highways, and providing penalties for violations thereof, including operation, regulation, and licensing of motor vehicles and drivers thereof, and other vehicles thereon, with full police power to bear arms and to arrest persons violating said laws. The beginning salary was 1500 per year in U.S. dollars for a highway patrolman, and each year thereafter the salary would be increased $120 a year until a maximum of $2,000 a year was reached. Funds for the operation of the department were to come from the sale of driver licenses. Number 1. Director of the Department of Public Safety. In September 1939, W. F. Reed was appointed Director of the Department of Public Safety by Governor Fred Cohn and the Chairman of the State Road Department. On October 1, 1939, H. Neil Kirkman was appointed as the first commander of the Florida Highway Patrol. Colonel Kirkman was originally from Greensboro, North Carolina, but considered Palatka, Florida his home. He entered the United States Army as a private in 1917 and was discharged as a first lieutenant. He was a charter member of the American Legion and served as state commander of the American Legion during 1922 to 1923. He worked in the construction business for many years, particularly in building bridges such as the Memorial Bridge in Palatka and the Clearwater Causeway Bridge. Colonel Kirkman laid the groundwork for what has become the motto of the Florida Highway Patrol, Service, Courtesy, Protection. 2. The First Uniform In 1939, the uniform color for the Florida Highway Patrol was forest green. The forest green whipcord blouse had orange piping around the epaulets and shirt pockets with silver buttons carrying the state seal. There was an orange and blue shoulder patch on the left shoulder with silver collar ornaments, FHP on the left lapel, and a wheel with wings attached to each side on the right lapel signifying traffic. There was a badge, chain, and whistle. The shirt was forest green with orange piping around the epaulets and shirt pockets. Trousers were forest green with one to one half inches black stripe. Shoes were black. In addition, each trooper was issued two pair of riding breeches with one to one half inches black stripe and a pair of black boots for winter dress. The collar ornament design is a wing and wheel similar to the insignia that appears on the Ohio State Highway Patrol cars today. The original insignias had a broken spoke in the wheel, which is the origin of the broken spoke club. A black Sam Brown belt, three inches wide, with handcuff case, cartridge clip, and a swivel or a swing holster carrying a .38 caliber Colt revolver on the right side, with a shoulder strap to support the revolver and other equipment, completed the body uniform. The first beige Stetson, or campaign, hats purchased for the patrol in 1939 
were $12.50 each. The hat was the Stetson 3X Beaver with a 1 to 1 half inch orange hat band and a thin 32 inch long tan leather head strap to hold the hat in place. Before the turn of the century, the Stetson 3X Beaver, as its name implies, was made from genuine beaver pelt. However, it is not known what type of fur, if any, our original Stetsons were made from. The uniform of the FHP and its ornaments originated with the military. The patrol's Stetson hat had first appeared during the Civil War, was beige in color, rounded on top instead of creased down the middle, and was worn by the officers of the Union forces. Confederate forces also wore the same hat, but gray in color. 3. First Training School In November 1939, the first training school was held in Bradenton, Florida, with 40 recruits. The school was directed by Captain George Mingle of the Ohio Highway Patrol, a personal friend of Colonel Kirkman. 32 recruits graduated and became troopers. 20 troopers were issued specially equipped Ford motor vehicles and 12 were assigned Model 84 Harley-Davidson motorcycles. On December 12, 1939, 14 special autos arrived in Bradenton for patrol use. The black and cream two-door Ford coaches were equipped with sirens and bulletproof windshields. At this time, the patrol had no radio communication. Troopers would make regular stops at service stations or grocery stores along their routes to call in for assignments, reports of wrecks, and messages. By the end of 1940, the first full year of operation, the Florida Highway Patrol had 59 officers. The state was divided into three divisions, northern, central, and southern. The commanding officer of each division was a lieutenant. Since there were no district offices, all the records were kept in Tallahassee, and each trooper was responsible for mailing his daily reports to Tallahassee. The first year of activity included 154,829 hours of patrol time, 1,000 accidents investigated, 29,860 hours at the station, 127 motorists killed, 1,938,564 miles patrolled, 1,132 persons injured, and 4,000 836 motorists arrested. The 1941 legislature increased the authorized strength of the patrol to 190 officers and the pay increased to $150 per month. In the fall, the State Road Department supplied the division commanders an office in their district. The Northern District was Lake City, the Central District was Bartow, and the Southern District was Fort Lauderdale. In 1948, Florida received national recognition for its driver license program from the National Safety Council. 4. The Patrol's Uniform During Director Gilliam's administration, World War II was in progress and textile mills were using all green wool for military uniforms. Mr. Gilliam selected the officer's pink material for the uniform trousers and breeches. In 1943, the Patrol's Uniform blouse was olive drab whipcord with silver buttons bearing the state seal. A patch on the left shoulder, the orange emblem with the word Florida spelled out, silver collar ornament FHP on the left label, and the winged wheel ornament on the right signifying traffic. A badge, chain, whistle, army pink trousers with a one inch black stripe from waist to hem, black riding breeches, and one pair of black plain toed riding boots completed the uniform. Instructions were to wear riding breeches and boots on each Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until the forest green uniforms were phased out. Also, part of the uniform was the graphite blue Stetson hat, Sam Brown 3-inch gun belt, plus handcuff and cartridge cases. 5. Radio Communication System The Florida Highway Patrol Radio Communication System began operating in 1943. Mr. Earl Burchard installed the communication system, a Motorola, beginning in Bartow, headquarters of the Central Division. By the end of 1944, there were 13 stations statewide in operation with mobile units and all the patrol cars. Monitoring services with the larger police departments were provided. Communication was established with Georgia and Alabama by placing receivers on stations along the borders, which proved very beneficial for all three states. Subsection 1. War and the Patrol. 
When World War II erupted in Europe, many troopers enlisted. Other troopers were called up for defense work. Because of the war, it was hard to get and keep patrol officers. The patrol's sworn officers were down to 100 and were kept busy escorting military convoys, including gasoline tankers filled with fuel for military installations, and patrolling Florida's 1,197 statute miles of coastline looking for illegal aliens trying to slip ashore. The patrol, working closely with the military police, was spread thin during these war years. In April 1942, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, aided by the Florida Highway Patrol, launched a series of raids on Florida's east coast. They entered 67 homes of German and Italian nationals, seized guns, ammunition, dynamite, caps, fuses, and radio receivers. Some of the persons captured were classified by the FBI as dangerous. Throughout the war, patrolmen aided in the search and apprehension of prisoners of war. Subsection 2. Post-war. In the spring of 1951, the patrol's use of a single shoulder patch on the right shoulder was adopted by every highway patrol and state police organization in the United States. The patch appeared in a magazine published by the Florida Peace Officers Association, and soon all of Florida's law enforcement agencies adopted the idea. In late 1952, the patrol realigned the divisions. Boundaries were changed and divisions became troops and were designated as A, B, C, D, E, and Headquarters Troop. In the beginning, while on probation, all members were classified as patrolmen. When they completed their probation, they were classified as patrol officers. That changed in 1952, when the new classification for members on the patrol was trooper. Teletype Network In 1953, a statewide private teletype network was installed by the patrol, which consisted of two circuits with seven machines on each circuit, providing 14 terminals throughout the state. This network permitted the sending and receiving of messages between the troops and general headquarters. The Florida Highway Patrol Auxiliary, FHPA, was formed in 1955 in cooperation with the Florida American Legion. An act authorizing the auxiliary was approved on May 14, 1957. In 1962, the FHP initiated the use of aircraft for traffic law enforcement with two Piper aircraft. In 1964, civil rights demonstrations began in St. Augustine. The patrol was sent by the governor to assist local law enforcement. Mobs were meeting in open conflict and shots were being fired into homes and automobiles. During 15 days of rioting, 306 persons were arrested and a large number of weapons were confiscated. On July 1, 1965, Florida became one of the first states to use blue emergency lights on its official patrol cars. The use of blue lights was restricted to the Florida Highway Patrol and other police vehicles. Florida's voters revised the Florida Constitution in the November election and governmental reorganization took place on July 1, 1969. Florida had 125 state agencies. At the end of reorganization, Florida had 25. Many agencies were merged, including the Department of Motor Vehicles and the Department of Public Safety, which formed the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. The new department consisted of four divisions, Florida Highway Patrol, Driver License, Motor Vehicles, and Administrative Services. On July 1, 1971, Joe Willie DeCursey was the first African American of the Florida Highway Patrol. He reported to the FHP Training Academy on July 4, 1971. In 1972, a special task force of 225 troopers was trained and equipped for crowd control and sent to Miami Beach for both the Republican and Democratic National Conventions. State forces assisted approximately 1,000 demonstrators, and during the last day of the convention activity, approximately 25 FHP personnel required medical attention. Patricia Phillips was the first female trooper hired by FHP. She started on October 17, 1977. In 1983, the patrol purchased its first Ford Mustang patrol cars. Patrol cars of the past were as fast, but did not have the high-speed handling capabilities of the Mustang. The vehicle responded well to high-speed and low-speed curves. In 2002, the patrol purchased 200 Chevrolet Camaro patrol cars with new low-profile well and light bars. Each trooper issued the high-performance patrol car must complete a five-hour familiarization class on the handling, braking, and acceleration of the 310-horsepower vehicle. 
1998, Florida ranks fourth in population with an estimated 14,720,385 people, an influx of approximately 450 people per day, or 160,200 people per year migrates to Florida, according to the University of Florida's report on sustaining Florida's resources. In 2001, the FHP was heavily criticized by a St. Petersburg Times article, The Lost Patrol, that depicted the agency as understaffed and poorly managed. The report has led to changes at the agency. In 2006, the decision was made to transition from the trademark blue and white light bars to red and blue LED light bars in order to improve both day and night visibility. Aggressive Driving Enforcement In response to the growing problem of aggressive driving, the Florida Highway Patrol launched a selective traffic enforcement campaign in South Florida called I on 95. The program was piloted in Dade, Miami, and Broward, Fort Lauderdale counties using two confiscated Jeep Grand Cherokees equipped with grant-funded in-car video equipment, radar, laser, and other speed measuring devices. The Jeeps are designated as observation vehicles and work with second vehicles that are standard issue marked or unmarked Florida Highway Patrol cars. These vehicles are designated as the enforcement vehicles and are utilized to overtake the violator upon receiving information from the observation vehicle. The enforcement vehicle conducts the traffic stop of the violator and takes enforcement action for the team. As a result of this successful pilot project, similar aggressive driving enforcement programs have been developed in all other areas of the state. Section 5. Demographics. Male, 90%. Female, 10%. White, 75%. African American slash black, 14%. Hispanic, 10%. Asian, 1%. Link, Law Enforcement Management and Administrative Statistics, 2000. Data for individual state and local agencies with 100 or more officers. Section 6, Trivia. Number 1, it is illegal to own or operate a car in the colors of the Florida Highway Patrol. If one is caught in the black and cream paint scheme, you can be charged with a misdemeanor. Florida State Statute 321.03. Number two, the paint scheme adds $657 to the purchase of each vehicle. Number three, prior to sale, the patrol defaces the cars so that they cannot be misconstrued as official law enforcement vehicles. The defaced two-tone paint deflates each car's resale value by approximately $400. Number four, the black and cream paint scheme is actually camouflaged to help the vehicle blend in with the road surface, black, and the grass medians, cream. That concludes the article. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.